And are you refreshed? Good. Now what? Hi. <laughs> Do I just go now? <laughs> okay. So, I am in a really great turning point in my life, and I feel so awesome about the present and about my future. We like that you feel that way, and we like that you are acknowledging that it's a wonderful turning point, and we want to say, you all are there, you just don't know it. You are all at a great turning point in your experience, turning toward even more wonderful things. We like that you know it. Thank you. There's a lot of unknowns out there going through a divorce, starting a divorce. Now you're just going to mess it up, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing, though. I know it's a good thing. So I meet people, and I'm also in a new job. And when I meet people... Why do you think new feels so good? Possibility. Yeah. Yeah, because what has been, you sort of get used to that. And so there is a freshness in the new. And we just want to point that out because new is always possible, even if circumstances aren't new. New interests are possible. Yeah. New approaches are possible. Yeah. New connection with source is possible. We just want to stick in here just briefly that the condition doesn't have to be new for new. Right, right because it's new perspective, it's new alignment. Yeah. And sometimes it feels like the alignment is easier if the condition changes. Oh, I'd have a big relief if that condition would change. But we don't want you to be dependent upon the condition changing for this new, fresh mm -hmm. feeling. Mm -hmm. In other words, we love the way you bounce up here, and we love the way you feel. We just don't want it to be conditional. You mm -hmm. see what we're getting mm -hmm. at? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think my issue is my the thing that I have a problem with is when people say, so, what brought you here? Or, or where did you go to school? Or tell me about your past. And Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. That's no. what I want to say. No. No. Here I am. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> Don't make me justify this with any of that. Because no good will ever come from that. Tell me about your past. No. <laughs> Practice with us. Tell me about your past. No. No. <laughs> OK, let's get the tone just right. So what is the tone? I love you. I know you misunderstand. I know you mean well, but no. <laughs> Tell me about your past. No. no. <laughs> why not? But what if they say, why not? Why, why not? No. <laughs> but why not? No. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer any of these questions? No. <laughs> Don't you care what I think? No. <laughs> Don't you want me to like you better? No. <laughs> Aren't I important to your equation? No. <laughs> Don't you need to justify your existence by telling me something good so that I can think positively about you? No. <laughs> uh. Let's hear it. No. no. <laughs> so it's not about looking at your past and saying, yes, all those things that were kind of sucky got me to this great place. So it's not about changing the story. You can tell that in a general way if you want, and that's to your advantage. Contrast has brought me here, and I love being here. Contrast is causing my constant expansion and will continue to do so. Just don't look back at any of it. No regrets. Regret is really a wasted moment in time because you're out there on the raw and ragged edge without your inner being who feels no regret about anything. So if you are feeling a regret, it means you are focused opposingly to your source. Okay. Sometimes people will say, I only have one regret. And we say, that's one too many. That's one too many. And it's also the only one you just focus on now, because usually if you've got one, there are others lurking in the shadows. 